Hello. In today's video, it's going to be a bit of a different video. We're going to show you how we collect and what we do with our sawdust from our various saw benches. First, I'm going to show you our collection system. A few years ago, we got a sawdust extractor and mounted it to the roof of the barn and then put tubes from all of our various saw benches leading into the sawdust extractor and then the output instead of going into the bag we put it into this big hopper and with the bag we've put it into a filter up in the loft space which I'm not sure if you can see The hopper that we collect our sawdust in is roughly two foot wide, four foot high and four foot deep. And as you can see at the front here, it's up to here, but as it goes back, it gets quite high up in the box. And remember, there's still four foot of depth. So the next job is to empty the hopper. This front panel with the perspex is held on by these screws, so I'm now going to take them off. We've taken all of the screws out but this one and this one. Oh, that one's loose. And it's now time to take the front off. Hopefully most of the sawdust will just stay in position. the kind of thing we were hoping for. And now the perspex. There we go. Most of it stayed in position. With the front panel off, you can see the different textures of the different amounts of sawdust that have been put in. And also, you can better see the kind of dip here, and then how high it goes up at the top. About three and a half feet tall at the tallest point. Now to empty it, we have to start off with small amounts, because otherwise this is going to go everywhere. Also notice there's a couple of holes in the trailer, so we put a couple of pieces of newspaper in to try and patch that. We've compressed down the sawdust to get a lot in and this is probably the most amount that we're going to get in this trailer. Normally we would mix the sawdust with our grass cuttings pile so it can compost down but this time we're going to try something new and to do that we're going to use two tractors Westwood D1200 and the 1962 Bowlands Ridermatic and the new piece of equipment, a tow behind spreader. We're hoping that this will be quite effective when we're spreading this across the grass. We've currently got the equipment in the workshop because we're not quite sure if these clouds will turn out to be a rainstorm or not and we don't get want to get started and then end up with wet sawdust. We've got the first load in, 
we packed it quite high because we wanted to get the most out of one load we have put the cover back on because it's starting to rain but we've put a piece of ply over the trailer with all the sawdust in so nothing gets wet and we can still do the job now some things don't and in this case it didn't really work what was happening was when the sawdust was over it it wasn't going through and then if you push it through it would work on this spindle with this R clip it's meant so when it turns round it spins it round but if we change this to a plate reaching around to the side reaching up to here the outside of these holes it might be a bit more effective but we're going to go back to our original method of just mixing it in with the glass switched it on and I'm now going to use the suction tube to clean up some of the mess. job done and a little bit of an insight into how we and what we do with our sawdust it'll be interesting to find out what other people do with their sawdust so please leave a comment below what you do with your sawdust and how you get rid of it we always reply to comments that's all we've got time for this weekend, but I think we will need to think a bit more on the spreader. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye.